Hey guys, what is up? It's Affinity Designs here with a brand new Affinity Designer tutorial. Um, a Valentine's Day is coming up in just like two days. So uh, for that, I'm going to be designing a very simple, basic heart design. And uh, I'll show you uh, in just a sec. But this is going to be pretty much the heart that we're designing. It's just three uh, layers pretty much. If you open up this group, uh, you can see that there's two rounded rectangles and one rectangle. And uh, it'll only take a couple of minutes to design, so let's go ahead and hide this. The first thing I want you guys to do is enable snapping. That's very important because we're going to be using the grid to snap um, the rectangles. If you pull down this drop down menu, you'll see a bunch of options for snapping. I want you to enable snap to grid and then go to view at the top and then show grid. Now we want to zoom in, so hold down Z on your keyboard and click and drag inward until we're zoomed in like this. Um, now to get the heart started, let's go to the rectangle tool and just drag out a, a rectangle. The size doesn't matter because we're going to be entering the values manually. So if you look to the bottom right corner, you'll see a panel or uh, in this a software, it's called Studio. So for the width, we're going to enter a value of 80 pixels. And for the height, we're going to enter 50 pixels like that. And we could just drag it and um, drag it to one corner and then Select that rectangle, Control C and Control V to copy that. And uh, we're gonna uh, go to one of the edges, hold Shift and drag to the right so that we're rotating it uh, 90 degrees. Click and drag to uh, the right side of the first rectangle until it snaps to the corner like that. And as you can see, we can uh, kind of see the, the heart forming, but uh, we wanna round out the corner. So um, select the rectangle, either one of them go to corner and select rounded instead of none. Uh, do the same thing with the other rectangle, go to rounded. Um, we can select both by holding shift and clicking on each of them. But the thing is we can't round it out for some reason. Um, there might be a way, but uh, for now we're going to do it individually. So select one of the rectangles and then you'll see a percentage value near um, the corner setting, which is set to 25, but we're going to set that to 75, 75% uh, instead like that and do the same thing with uh, the other rectangle 75% like that. Um, I'm going to zoom in a bit more, hold down Z on your keyboard and click and drag. Um, now we want to get that pointy um, part of the heart. So let's go to the rectangle tool and uh, if I go near the bottom right corner of the heart, you'll see that there's a green and a red line which is telling us that uh, we're snapping to the grid. Um, so let's click and drag to the left until uh, either sides of the rectangle are, are connected to the heart like that let go and there we go we have the heart so now all we got to do is select each of the shapes and rotate it 45 degrees to the right hold shift and click and drag so that we have straight in the heart um, let me zoom out and uh, select the heart and and let me make it bigger like that and center it whoops select all the shapes like that and we can just snap it to the center like that and there we go we have a heart so now we can just hide the grid uh, if you go to view um, disable show grid and that's all we have to do three uh, three simple uh, shapes to form a heart so if you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new, leave a like, comment down below if you want to see something new um, in Affinity Designer or Photoshop, Illustrator. Um, leave feedback on my videos if I'm doing well, uh, what I need to improve on. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.